Oh, about three weeks ago was at the Skagavelli Food Co-op for the health fair that they had there in Mount Vernon, and there was Reflexologist, and her number is somewhere in this stack of papers on this table. I was going to call it my desk, but it sort of turned into my desk, um, I'm, which I'm sorry, but it's quite a mess right now. Um, so I was at this food health fair and went to this reflexologist and just was floating in space when she was doing the things that she was doing to my feet and I was feeling like I was amongst the stars and my friend drew me this picture which kind of describes how I was feeling. He felt like I was floating the stars and this window right in the middle there sort of opened light shining through there. I think that was pretty cool. Uh, hopefully there's enough battery on this flip cam to run through some of the other things I wanted to show you. But what I've been doing, I've been spending tons of money on supplements and vitamins like never never before. Uh, where should I start? I've got a cupboard full of interesting and odd things. Flax oil. This one's made from uh, sorry, flax oil. That one's made from Flax for the omega-3. I am just a little bit tired, I suppose. Um, too much of that, maybe not a good thing. Um, super enzymes combined with flax oil, maybe not a good thing. Uh, cat's claw, forget what that does. Lysine, somebody told me I was supposed to be good, and I forget what that does. Dandelion root and milk thistle, I believe, are intended to help with detoxification of the liver. Olive leaf, also good stuff. Uh, don't quote me on any of this stuff. Use at your own risk. Uh, vitamin B, an energy complex. That uh, is great for people with MS. The vitamin B seems to be missing along with vitamin D. So I've been trying various strengths of vitamin D. There's a D3 in uh, 1,000 milligram. There's a D3 in 5,000. Question that I've been putting to uh, various people is, uh, is how much should you be taking a vitamin D? So I was tested a few years ago, I think I ran on like a 38, um, boosted up to a 58 the last test. Um, Bobby Lutak said goal should be about 100 on, uh, on the D3. So that's, um, that's what I'm gonna shoot for anyways. Um, CoQ10, I picked up Natural factors, that's a hundred milligram. And then Monday, I was speaking to Marilee, who's a story in herself. Um, here's something from Life Extension with some 60 milligram pharmaceutical grade CoQ10. I've got some Kialic uh, garlic extract. Something I picked up this week, uh, some Ginseng Plus and Evening Primrose Oil. Evening Primrose Oil, the story behind that is supposed to reduce inflammation so I'm hoping to find ways to re reduce inflammation so I don't have to go the steroids route. Kids wanted some multivitamins, so uh, we picked up this stuff there. Uh, what else? Pau de Arco. This is some tea that I picked up from the Herbalist store on 64th Street in Seattle. I walked in there uh, and not knowing what I was doing and said, oh yeah, you just scoop it out, put scoop it out, write it down, put it on this, put it in a bag. So i had been looking for red clover. That's something that uh, Ann Brooke had mentioned. It helps detoxify the blood. Um, oxidation, some green tea, uh, wormwood. I haven't tried that since I just about choked on it here uh, a week ago or whatever it was. You can see me choking on that in the other video, if you care to see some poor guy just choking on wormwood. Uh, Ginkgo, started that on Monday, uh, trying that stuff out. Mixing and matching all kinds of vitamins. Yes, don't try this at home because it can have some serious effects with your intestinal tract. Trust me on that. Here's some alpha lipoic acid. Spoke with Carl Minson about three weeks ago. He gave me some good stuff that helped my uh, intestinal tract run better than this. Uh, this stuff was causing me uh, some quite the discomfort. This is a psyllium husk stuff. 
I don't know what else they put in there. Um, I picked up some flora fiber. It looks like it is manufactured in concrete Washington. And I can't read the ingredients right now, but mm, uh, it has some flaxseed oil, or flaxseed, sorry, not oil, and uh, some other ingredients. Mm, as opposed to the tea, I found that uh, Pau Diarco also comes in a pill format. Uh, Kyle, my friend, told me that uh, pills like this can be tested by trying to snap them in half. I cannot snap this one in half as hard as I tried. So if the body is having a hard time digesting this, like something like that, maybe it's because you shouldn't be putting it in your body. Uh, this is New Chapter Organic uh, Multivitamin from One Daily. And see if I can do this with one finger. Yep. Better for you. Easier to digest. Snaps pretty easy. Um, here is some supplements from Neutralite, aka Amway. Started uh, looking at those supplements here the other day. This is their omega-3 and their fruits and vitamins. And this tells you basically what, what it all it has in there. Uh, kelp. Yummy got iodine uh, here's uh, seaweed yummy from Costco um, that actually is the stuff they wrap sushi in it's kind of salty I don't think I could do that a couple weeks ago but I'm kind of getting used to the flavor seaweed Iodine good for you. Helps things like cells and stuff like that. Uh, this is a Tai Chi for back pain DVD lent to me from Aurelia Hadley. She teaches at the Skagit Valley YMCA in Mount Vernon. Very, very nice lady. And um, I did not fall down. I was even in the, uh, the flexible part of the floor, which is kind of rounded off. Um, Marilee, my friend, she gave me, uh, well, didn't exactly get, I, I bought some of her, uh, essentials from, I think it's Life Extensions, and that's also a marketing company, kind of, uh, like, uh, maybe Amway, but in a different, but she's not, she's not, um, working in his business, she's, uh, very interesting character, she also, uh, had some of this Pure Synergy, um, let's see, it has got, I can't read that, forget it, another time I'll tell you what it has on there. Uh, I tried that, zinc, I'm, I've sort of, um, on hold with the zinc because I'm trying to grow my hair out so I can take this mineral test, find out really if I'm deficient in some of this stuff rather than just throwing minerals in my body unnecessarily. Uh, however, Health Force Vitamin Mineral Green uh, some fruits and not fruits, but uh, veggie supplement stuff. Very tasty for greens. Although um, Dr. Terry Walls, uh, available on the internet on YouTube, suggests three cups of greens, three cups of sulfur-rich fruits and vegetables, and three cups of flavonoids daily. Um, other people have had success with the the raw food diets. Um, so I'm trying to sort out these different diets. Oh, here's another another thing that uh, Rebecca Girard mentioned to me just a few days ago. This is, it's not glutathione, it's glutathione. Uh, cells create this stuff. This is a book that Marilee uh, Egbers suggested. She lent me a copy. It's sitting over there until I could find a copy of my own. This is Prescription for Nutritional Healing by Phyllis A. Balch and James A. Balch. She said they're no longer together. They're each publishing new books. And, uh, yeah, forget it. I forgot what I was going to say there. Um, 
Oh, I was going to show you some of my new items in my pantry. Got rid of the enriched rice. There's some basmati rice. Here's some uh, neutralite stuff. Some stuff you just squeezy tubes you put in the in the uh, water. Really tasty. Golden omega flax seed. Ready to eat. Uh, I never had flax seed prior to all this. Here's some sprouted bean trio. Oh. Here is some soup that I made, very tasty. Never made soup before that wasn't in a can, so that's a first. Here I'm boiling catheters. Hmm, don't overdo it because you will uh, set off the smoke alarm like I did a few weeks ago. So don't leave your catheters on the stove if you're boiling your catheters. Uh, I have spelt, that's S-P-E-L-T, I have some sprouted rice stuff all this stuff is new and tasty and good for you some almonds some sunflower seeds some pumpkin seeds some split pea this is uh, Himalayan salt crystals I don't know what to do with that stuff I guess you need a salt grinder oh that's that's some of my bee pollen it should be in the refrigerator but I've pulled it out I got some more of that stuff and uh, hmm I guess I better head off to bed and get some sleep because I'm getting up bright and early tomorrow. So, good night.